SCV. And oh my gosh, I feel like I match my backdrop so well right now with the black and the purple. By the way, do you like my shirt? Why do I feel like I've been wearing like really Halloween vibe sort of shirts? I don't know why. Like it's just a coincidence, I guess. And look, it's two skeletons that love each other. Or wait, did they break up? <gasps> they might've ripped the photo because they broke up. Wait, now I'm looking at their shirt so differently. <laughs> okay, anyways guys, if you did not see my previous video, yes, I have a new February backdrop behind me. I wanted to go with like roses and colorful flowers for Valentine's Day. And if you guys would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie B channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my new channel. It's called Jessie's Bookshelf. Subscribe there if you have not already. And to enter, all you have to do is comment on my first video that I posted there. Comment anything, what books you like to read, what genre is your favorite, your favorite book characters, anything. And then I'm really gonna be choosing the person that I see just commenting frequently on the videos that I post there, interacting on there. The more you comment and support my new Jessie's Bookshelf channel, I will choose you to win. So thank you guys so much for all of your support over there. And yeah, before I jump right into today's video, I just wanna mention, don't forget, because we are now in February, Valentine's Day is coming up so quickly. So if you would like a new Valentine's Day mystery box, I have linked it down below. This is like one of my favorite Valentine's Day boxes that we've done and Valentine's Day is my birthday. So I try and make this extra special. So if you would like one, I have linked it down below. And don't forget, we have a ton of Valentine's Day items up on the website right now. Necklaces, plushies, all kinds of cute stuff. So if you wanna even just go look at how cool our website looks right now, I will link it down below. All right guys, so as I said, because Valentine's Day is coming up, I wanted to do sort of some Valentine's Day themed videos, which is why today's video is about roses, because a lot of people receive roses on Valentine's Day. Not usually black ones, although I feel like I would kind of like that, but red roses symbolize love. So that's why we're gonna be talking about black ones because there are some creepy stuff about it. And by the way, whenever I think about black roses, I think about that song from the TV show Nashville. You know the one that Scarlett sings? Now you only bring me black roses. If you know, you know. And also roses in general always remind me of Tuxedo Mask. You know when he like throws the rose down at Sailor Moon? Ah, he's my man. There are also a bunch of really weird and sometimes creepy superstitions about roses. It is often said that throwing rose leaves into a fire brings good luck. But on the other hand, they say that a rose should never touch the floor. Otherwise, it'll bring you bad luck. So if you ever drop a rose or like your rose petal falls on the floor, apparently that's not good. Many believe that planting roses near someone's grave protects their soul from evil spirits. And some people believe that if you're holding a rose in your hand and one of the petals fall off while you're holding it, one of your loved ones or friends will pass away soon which is horrible to think about. Also, there's this thing which you may have heard of before, but if you're like stuck between two lovers and you don't know who to choose, take as many rose leaves as there are choices, write the name of your lovers and place them all on water. And apparently the first leaf to sink to the bottom of the water dish is the person that you should choose. So the sinking one is a good one. They also say you can do this if you have a question that you want to ask the universe. You can take three rose petals or three rose leaves, you write yes, no, and maybe on them. And then you place them in a bowl of water and whichever one sinks first is your answer. Although sometimes this can be creepy because I saw there was this comment from a girl who asked the question, is someone watching me right now? And the rose puddle sunk. When she looked at it, it said yes. And then she heard something crash through one of her windows in her house and she had to hide in her closet. She called the police and so like literally, so literally her rose knew that her house was about to be broken into? Excuse me? They also say if you place dried rose petals under your mattress, it is said to bring romantic love into your life. It is also thought from history that the rose flower was the key that unlocks fairy castles. And this is like according to old German superstitions. All right, so let's talk about black roses. The black rose can be used as a symbol of death and mourning. And this seems to be the most common representation, but it could also symbolize the end of like a significant life event. 
So maybe you left a job or you got into a breakup. It basically points towards the tragedy and then the new beginning that you're about to go on. But some people also say that black roses symbolize tragedy or hatred. So like you give someone you hate a black rose, which is not very friendly. Okay, let's talk about a really creepy story. It's called Knock Knock. This is apparently a true story about a girl that began receiving black roses at her front door every day for the 10 days leading up to Valentine's Day. And first she would hear this very faint knocking sound in her house. And it was strange because the person would only ever knock twice, never three times, never four times, only twice. When she'd open the door, she would find one single black rose lying on her doorstep. And there was always like this note wrapped around it that said, will you be my Valentine? Because she had no idea who sent it, she put the flower back down on her porch, not wanting to accept it. And she just like went about her day. This continued to happen. And she'd always look around her street to see if she could spot the person who sent it. And sometimes she would see this like creepy silhouette behind a tree across the street, almost as if someone was trying to hide and watch her pick up the rose. On day 10, she was so fed up with receiving these black roses on her porch that she shouted out to the street, okay, I'll be your Valentine. There, now can you leave me alone? And she took this rose inside her house and then tossed it into the garbage. The next day was Valentine's day and she didn't get a knock at her door all day, which she was relieved about. But around 7 p.m., her luck was over because she heard the faint two knocks. She opened her door, it was dark outside, and for some reason, her porch light was out. But standing at the bottom of her steps was a man dressed in black with his face covered in shadows, and he was holding a black rose in his hands and gestured her to follow him. She refused and ran inside her house and locked the door. But the next day, she was nowhere to be found. The only thing that documented what happened to her the previous days to her going missing was that she wrote in her journal about receiving these roses. Investigators basically speculated that when she accepted this rose on day 10 and brought it into her house, she unknowingly gave this person permission to come and take her away, which is terrifying. So if you ever get unknown gifts on your doorstep, and if you literally don't know who sent them to you or you're like getting them every single day, don't bring them inside and don't open them until you find out who gave them to you. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to continue doing like Valentine's Day themed videos, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like to win the new backdrop behind me, head over to my Jessie's Bookshelf channel, give it a follow and comment on my new video. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.